So our first speaker is um, Dr. Lucy P. Thaliath. Uh, she will be talking about childhood cataract, magnitude and impact. She is a consultant pediatric ophthalmologist in Puttilat uh, Eye Hospital. Good morning. First, I would like to thank ASOS and Dr. Naveen for giving me this opportunity. Childhood cataract, magnitude and impact. Childhood blindness is one of the priorities in Vision 2020, the right to sight. Children who are blind have to overcome a lifetime of emotional, social and economic difficulties which affect the child, the family and the society. Loss of vision in children influence their education employment and social life. Childhood cataract blindness presents an enormous problem of human morbidity, economic loss and social burden. It is estimated that there are 1.4 million blind children in the world. Two thirds of them live in the developing countries. The causes of blindness in children vary according to the region and the socioeconomic development. Various studies the, among the blind have reported pediatric cataracts as one of the leading but treatable cause of blindness. Approximately 70 million blind person years are caused by childhood blindness, of which about 10 million bl blind person years, that is 14 percent, is due to childhood cataract. Cataract in children may be congenital or acquired, unilateral or bilateral. Over 90 percent of cataracts are congenital or developmental. Congenital cataract is any opacity f found within the first few months of life, and developmental cataract is a uh, cataract spotted in infancy or, and in early childhood. Congenital cataract produces form deprivation or amblyopia and results which uh, affects the child's educational and psychosocial development. In, in particular, congenital cataract affects more than the bilateral, ca uh, uh, unilateral cataract affects more than the bilateral cataract. Congenital cataracts have a better prognosis if identified early and surgery is done before six weeks, at six weeks. And developmental cataract has a better prognosis than congenital cataract. The diagnosis of cataract is incidentally made on routine screening in 41% of the cases, whereas leukocoria and strabismus lead to the diagnosis in 21% and 19% respectively. Factors that influence the surgical outcome adversely are the presence of unilateral cataract, nystagmus, strabismus, and any ocular defects like microphthalmos, PFV. Functional results after pediatric cataract surgeries depend not only on the anatomic success of the operation and post-operative maintenance of a clear visual optical axis, but even more on the aphakic visual rehabilitation. Children with aphakia or pseudophakia may develop amblyopia as a consequence of visual dep deprivation, anisometropia or strabismus. Coming to the global prevalence, cataracts are estimated to be present in approximately 1, in f 1 to 15 in 10,000 children worldwide, accounting for 5 to 20 percent of childhood blindness. A study conduct, uh, uh, this, uh, this is from the global prevalence of uh, childhood cataracts varies from 0.322 to 22.9 and median of around 1.03 per 10,000 children. This is just uh, analysis done by Sheila Devi based on many studies done in different parts of the world. Globally, about 2 lakh children are blind from uh, bilateral cataract worldwide. Around 20,000 to 40,000 new cases of bilateral congenital cataract are diagnosed every year. It has been estimated that over 21% of world's blind children owe their environment to cataract. And cataract is a leading cause of childhood blindness in developing countries. The incidence varies from region to region and according to the socioeconomic develop, development in uh, uh, developing countries, the percentage of uh, congenital cataract is more than in the high socioeconomic uh, uh, countries. This is a world map showing congenital cataract as a proportion of childhood blindness. You can see in the higher socioeconomic uh, developed countries, the USA and UK, the percentage is less than the low uh, developing countries. This is a uh, meta-analysis done in Asia uh, 
using many studies done in, in the countries in Asia, you can see the prevalence in the various countries. And coming to the Indian scenario, in India approximately 10% of childhood blindness is caused by cataract and half of the childhood, childhood cataracts in India are known to be idiopathic. Uh, the same journal which was discussed earlier, so uh, this is a prevalence in, within India and it varies from region to region. And why is it important to know the prevalence? It is imperative to have a reliable estimate of prevalence and epidemiological nature of pediatric cataract to develop an effective prevention strategies, implementation of public health in initiatives and provision of improved health, eye care facilities. Thank you.